Welcome to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. I'm Keith, along with Morgan. Hello, everybody. And we are glad to be with you this Saturday, and we're going to be talking about what's your process. <laughs> and that's a question that I get asked a lot, and it seems like it's becoming more and more of a common question. What is the process that your company uses? And I, I automatically know when someone asks that question that it's an intelligent buyer. Yeah. They really understand that remodeling is not just a product, but there's a process along with it. And one part of that process, they may or may not be thinking a lot about, but it has to do with customer service. And just like when you go to a restaurant and you go there for a product, maybe a great steak, you don't expect that you're not going to, you're just going to get a product thrown on your, or you're going to have to go there and grab it yourself or throw it on the pit or pull it off of the pit or put it on your plate yourself. You expect there's going to be service with it. And usually we expect a lot more than just having it on our plate. Mm -hmm. We expect people to even check and see how is that product working for you? Is it is it cooked the way you like it? And so if you think about how much service is in a restaurant on a simple meal that you may be there an hour or so, how much more service is there to be incorporated in a product that takes months to produce and these people you're not you're not going to them and then leaving whenever you're done and you've had enough of their service <laughs> they're in your house yeah and so they I'm are sorry you don't get to leave that's right you don't get to leave like that so it's it's a very big part of what we do and the process that we use and that a good remodeler would use is, should be very important to you as a consumer so we're going to talk today about the process and that process that we use and, and others use something similar uh, a few I won't say most but a few use something similar um, and even if it's similar there are definitely differences between the processes our process is an architectural process it's an it's the way that people for work very similar to whenever they're building something new a building of some kind that process has been proven, tried, tested, and proven to be a good process to start with design first, and rather than just pricing. So the first thing we do is, is I go to visit the client myself, and they make an appointment, we get there, I mean, that, that even in itself is important. The fact that you have an appointment, and it's specifically for you, um, think about it. All the things that you wanna do in life typically are the, the things that are most important and that have higher dollar ticket items usually have a ticket or an invitation or you have a reservation to the nicer places. So you shouldn't be surprised that if you have to make an appointment with someone who is, who's doing a really good job, they probably have more work than they have to have to survive. And there, there lies the reason why you have to get in line to get that service. So at KM Builders, you may wait a little bit when you make that first phone call, but what we do is give you an appointment right then. Instead of having to call around and see who's available, or we'll call you back, we'll see what we can get to you, just get an appointment right then. Now, mm -hmm. you'll probably forget about it and the time will fly by and you'll be there, but when we're gonna be there and we'll be there on time. Or if we, you know, <laughs> something happens where we're running a few minutes late, we will let you know that. And I've had so many compliments on being on time. And you know what, I've had compliments too about, hey, I, we really appreciated that you called when you were running 15 minutes behind schedule. You let us know, and mm -hmm. that's what matters. And so, you know, no one's perfect, and it is hard to time out some of these travels with the length of the time a project will, uh, people, some people just will, you're almost done, and then the spouse shows up. Yeah. And so, yeah, sometimes you, those appointments are hard to predict. And so, but, but you know, people are good if you keep them informed. So that's part of the process, showing up, and me being able to give you an overview of your project, uh, answer all the questions, and part of the next questions is, is uh, you know, what's your process? And the process starts right then and there with us understanding and listening to you and finding out what makes you tick. What is so important about your project to, to you? What are your needs? Listening is part of the process. And then after I've heard that, maybe making a few suggestions on what we've noticed, what I've seen about the home, maybe things they've been overlooking, mm -hmm. and 
sometimes it's things that they've not they don't know is, is even possible for their for their home and so really just really understanding their needs and their desires and if their desires are based on what they think is possible only or it's really what they wanted and sometimes it's not what they really want they just thought they had to have it that way <laughs> and so we find out I try to find out and ask those good questions mm -hmm. and and then I try to give them a ballpark figure of a range of where this product this project that they were thinking of would come in and sometimes it's twice what they expected and so now that I've told them what it will cost then I ask them the question so now that you know what you're asking for would cost what's your budget and then if they are you know they feel like they can say that I tell them look I didn't ask you what what you wanted to spend I told you what it cost and then they will tell me what they think they would like to spend. So guess what happens if it's like half the price? Uh, sometimes they get a loan. They get a loan, yeah. <laughs> sometimes they decide that, you know what, I thought it was gonna be this much, but I gotta have it, so we'll, we'll go ahead and work with the, what you're saying it costs. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times, that's just not an option. Yeah. They were They were thinking, this is how much they have to spend, and that's because that is how much they have to spend. Yeah. Whether it's a loan or whether it's not. So sometimes what I'm able to do is to show them, well, now that I know what you're willing to spend on the project, let me make some suggestions that could get you closer to your budget. So, you know, I can keep talking about this project that they described to me the way they described it, but it's way out of their price range. And there's no need to go too far down that road if they're sure that that's out of their price range. Yeah. So at some point I have to know, what were you thinking you were willing to spend? Mm -hmm. And I do that only after I've told them what they want will cost. Mm -hmm. And then now we can be honest with each other and say, okay, so now where does that lead you? And that, that that's a very important part of the process is to know now what are we shooting for? What target are we shooting for? Because you're not going to get the same amount for half the budget or three quarters of the budget or two thirds of the budget. You're going to get a different product. But that doesn't mean you won't be happy. It's just set your expectations correctly and let us show you what you could get for that amount of money. And that's what I want to do. I want to help them to see that don't give up. Here's some things probably make you very happy. And so that's a big part of what I do is sharing with people what they can have for the range that they want. Now, it may not be everything, but it's going to be very useful and very informative to them. Uh, before we go and take a break, I wanted to mention the maids who we've been using on our projects, your home, um, Tara's home, mm -hmm. and, and just really done a great job for all of our clients. So if you'd like them to do the work for you, call them at 822-2525. That's an easy number to remember, 822-2525, or go to maids.com slash forward slash 211 and you can get a $25 discount off your first clean they're very reasonably priced yep by using the code km builders again maids.com forward slash 211 welcome back to the km builders remodeling design show and we're glad you're with us this saturday we are talking about the process that's what we get asked a lot about. And I want to mention my friends, Chris White and David Calvo of Expel.com. We're really excited about David's product that he installs himself with his team on with security film and just window tinting in general for residential homes. To keep that UV light out, to keep that heat out, to keep your products from fading. It's so nice on these luxury remodels. It makes you have, a huge difference. Yeah, wood flooring and cabinetry will fade. Or your leather furniture. Yeah, it all fades if you have light coming in. We want mm -hmm. light, but we don't want the UV light. And we want we want light and we don't want the heat. So these are some great products that he can do for you. Even security film, which resists people breaking in through those windows or glass patio doors, whatever you have. Find out more by calling them at 880 0600 get them scheduled for your home just a free consultation 8800600 now we're back to the subject of at hand which is the process what's the remodeling process and we know that it's different from one company to another so you should ask that question what is your process and most people are looking for real definite answers not vague answers we've said at the beginning that the first step in the process is to have someone in that knows this business and 
know specifically what you can do to your house, go to your home and uh, tell you what range of investment that would be and ask the right questions. First of all, they gotta listen, but then ask the right questions and then give back some information to you to see if that's where you wanna be in a price range. And after that, then maybe um, you'll tell them what you were thinking and then they can, then I can make an alternate suggestion for you. That's what I do. I meet all the clients, potential clients up front, and then give them alternate solutions if it's not in their budget. So then after you meet with them, what comes next? If they want to move forward, I guess? Yeah, if, if they are, you know, saying that, okay, well, I understand what I can get for the money, kind of this is the, what I can buy, this is what works for us. Um, what happens next? They'll sometimes beat me to the punch and ask me what happens next like you just did. And, and the basic step is, is to start the architectural design process. In most homes, whether it's a simple bathroom remodel, uh, room addition, kitchen remodel, there needs to be details. Everything that will make a difference to you as a homeowner has to do with the details. So the details start with us gathering all the existing conditions, knowing everything that you have right now. And that's not something that you do. No, it's not. We send a three person design team to start with, and that person is a design consultant, a interior designer, or architectural designer. I mean, in most cases, an architectural designer, and then a structural specialist, so that we get the architecture part first. Now that okay. structural specialist, Sam, Robin, or Jeff is going to be the one that actually does the breakout on all the pricing. So we want them there on that project also. Now that team is going to be uh, taxed with getting all the details. Um, what are some of those details that we want to know? Morgan, you know. Uh, I know that we get like the electrical panels because I see all the pictures. So they mm -hmm. take pictures of the electrical panels. That they... tells us the amperage and the breakers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The trim. Trim details, yep. very good. What size trim will we be matching? Under the sink pictures. So that gets the plumbing. And <laughs> yeah, you're right. And, and you know, lighting and the- Lighting, exactly. All the wall heights and the counter decks and all of that measurements. So all the existing products, including plumbing, electrical, and even sheetrock textures, trims, like you said, mm -hmm. um, and then all the measurements too. Yes, because so some, like room. even when people suggest to give us a plan that they have, we can copy it or something, which sometimes they, they will send to us. Mm -hmm. The measurements are usually wrong, <laughs> and that's going to affect something later on down the road if we don't get the exact measurements up front. And so this discovery process is also preventing things like, because sometimes I'll hear other remodelers say, you know, this was a really hard project because we opened the wall and found out there was plumbing there. Well, this is preventing that, right? Right, it's preventing surprises to the client. Mm -hmm. And so this is a big part of what we offer to a client is no surprises. But to do that, you have to spend hours in most cases and sometimes a whole day on mm -hmm. big projects to know exactly what's there, to be able to design intelligently. That's what we, we talk about over and over. Let's design this intelligently. Um, what would be, you know, what do you think of in our process that means design intelligently. What, what, what am I really saying? I don't know. Well, it has to do with knowing what's there. If you, if you design in a vacuum, say, you know, I just want this kitchen to look like this, and you design it with no walls around it, and it's uh. just a kitchen, and you try <laughs> to put that into your kitchen, yeah. where it's at or into your home, it could be extremely expensive to make that happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, a kitchen that was 40,000 could now be 150,000 because it takes doesn't take into consideration the things that are there. Now that's an extreme example, but it very likely could cost you five, 10,000 more because you didn't think about, hey, if I move this range over to this side, the wire's long enough because it goes from this direction to the panel and so I can say, I don't have to run that big heavy wire all the way to that to that heavy amped uh, double oven. Mm -hmm. So those are the kind of things. Well, the gas is here, so if we move it over to here, I've got to chip that out into the floor or get it into the attic. I've got to mm -hmm. move that gas. And the same is true of breakers, if they're, the big, if they're big enough size to be used. Well, if they're not, maybe you could use that breaker for something else and not have to change out all that. Hmm. So same is so true. Making of plumbing. smarter designs right. based on 
and we have to well, because because remodeling is expensive yeah we have to be smarter about our design so that team really looks at it from different angles every person catches something different in it and they're all trying to catch all the details and then when they go back they've all seen it and they've got some great ideas flowing in their head along with the ideas that the the client is wanting to achieve mm -hmm. and so this is intelligent design and you cannot do it unless you know everything that's there in a home and of course you can't take out the surprises unless you know everything that's in the home so when people offer a free estimate, you know, you've heard that expression, you get what you pay for. <laughs> uh, it really is, you paid nothing for it, so it's worth, it's worth nothing. Because later on, you're gonna say, well, I guess they couldn't have known that, that's why they're charging me for it. Uh -huh. I mean, after all, it was a free estimate. They didn't, how could they have known? Well, you're gonna pay a little bit for a design agreement, but one of the things you're gonna be able to eliminate, at least with KM Builders, is that you won't pay more because we know what's in your home and we're also convinced that we'll be able to save you money along the way and get that bid in to a very tight range because we're designing intelligently. So that's a big part of our step and we want you to know that that's possible. Uh, I would recommend Truly Nolan Pest Control to keep your costs limited because if you don't have, you have rodents and you they have termites, they chew up stuff and they mess it up. They even make it smell. <laughs> so get them in there before you have any problems. It's time to do it now at trulynolan.com. N-O-L-E-N is how you spell it, trulynolan.com. Or call them at 651-1720. We'll be right back to the KM Builders Remodeling and Design Show. Welcome back to the KM Builders Remodeling Design Show. I'm Keith along with Morgan. Hello everybody. And we want to mention something before we get into our subject of the process, which we hope you're enjoying and hope you have, you know, comments on that and that you will let us show it to you. But I want to mention, <laughs> I want to mention BioGreen because I've been so satisfied. You know, I talk about people that have done good work for us so that you have good resources. Yeah. Ed Cuccino at BioGreen. Joe Cuccino. I mean, Joe. Oh, I said Ed. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. At BioGreenSA.com. And that's where you find them. BioGreenSA.com. But they have done a tremendous job with my yard. And it's not too late for you to get yours in shape for the year and to be really proud of it. I know I love mowing a thick lawn mm -hmm. and then standing on it. It's cool. It feels good on your feet. I know our dogs love it. Yep. <laughs> Buddy and Scout love laying out there on thick green grass. So Especially it's, when it's pretty weather. And you know what? That does something for you inside when you see your dogs running around on it. You see green grass. And, <laughs> yeah, look them up at biogreensa.com or 421-9522. 421-9522. And we were talking about the process. We ended on... Talking, discovery. Yeah, discovery and intelligent design. It's so important. And a lot of people start designing without having the existing conditions or knowing all this about your home that you've got to know to eliminate those surprises. Mm -hmm. And so it's intelligent design, it's discovery product. We call this first step a site assessment. Mm -hmm. It gets everything under our in our computers about your project so that when we design, it's taking all those things into account. And later on, when we want to actually build it, because you said, let's go forward, we have all the measurements and everything correct. And it's so, very important. Now, I just want to mention our design team, the architectural designer, He's he's got a master's in architecture. So this is no, no person just calling themselves a designer. And later on, we have a cabinet designer, Bonnie. Yes. That meets with you too. <laughs> what were you gonna say? I was gonna say, so after the measurement, they come back and then they do like the base drawing of what the remodel is or? That is the next step, Morgan. Very good. Uh, you, you've you seen it and uh, you're helping me to remember it too, which is we start drawing the existing conditions. Oh. So what happens is that the architectural designer will draft up everything that's there, in, you know, the floor plan and then the design, consultant, the design consultant sketches over it and says, here's some ideas I'd like to see drawn into this. Uh -huh. And a lot of times they're consulting together. And of course, it's with the, the client's ideas. Then they sketch those up for them. They go ahead and put those sketches into actual plans. Oh, okay. Now we're ready to show those to a client. So the client. So they have the before and then the potential afters to look yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the existing, 
and then that way they can compare the two and show mm -hmm. and then if they have questions like well why can't we move over here well you see this plan shows that this is over here and it costs a lot of money to move that but if you want to we can but they go no 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 I understand now mm -hmm. because they can see their room overlaid on this other one mm -hmm. and this new floor plan makes sense now be economically and uh, you know it, there's usually you know a couple of ways we can do it and each one of them has a different cost so we give them some ranges of what we think they would be if you pick this plan or this design Cool. Now, those are preliminary sketches. Sometimes those are shared via the internet, the preliminary sketches. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they come in for a full-blown drawing uh, meeting. Meeting, yeah. And that's called a design development meeting. Mm -hmm. and, and so at this point, have they chosen like what tiles and stuff? No, good question. No, none of the none of the actual selections or products are being selected at that time. Because the first thing we need to get done is a base plan that shows the layout. And that needs- and That dictates what you can choose. Right, well, it, it's, it's the majority of your cost. Oh. The majority of your cost is determined in the architectural choices. Okay. And, and then you're gonna see after you say, okay, I like this plan or this plan. Let's say plan A costs 20, you know, uh, 5,000 less than plan B because of the amount of cabinetry mm -hmm. and countertops. Let's say we, or, it might be, it includes $5,000 worth of removing of walls if you do it this other plan. Mm -hmm. So you need to know before you start picking your countertops whether you're spending 5,000 more on the architectural plan or 5,000 less, mm. right? Mm -hmm. And then you know, do I have 5,000 more to spend on the fun stuff? Yeah. You know, well, I mean, it's all fun, it's all beautiful and it all makes a huge difference. But that might be some of the luxury items that you have now a little less to spend because of your budget or because you chose the more economical plan, you like it just almost as much, well, now you've got more money to spend on the fun, the, the products, which, so, would, which would be like what you were saying, countertops, mm -hmm. tile, lighting, fixtures, the sinks. cabinets have already been chosen? No, the cabinet is another selection that you still have yet to choose. But you, you kind of know- The layout. The layout and how many cabinets you're going to need, right. and this is the average cost for cabinets. Right. What we're going to do is start off with a quality product on all of the base budgets. So when we're designing for you, mm -hmm. we're going to have all doors on those cabinets. Doors. Doors. Just doors and and one drawer at the top. Oh, okay. In the kitchen cabinets, and that's just going to be the base plan, because because okay. we don't know exactly until you see the outline of the kitchen how many drawers do you really need in this kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we kind of give you. A certain amount of drawers and, and all doors and upper cabinets and so forth and then when you've said okay I like this layout but I want more drawers here more drawers there so well, drawers are more expensive drawers are a lot more expensive yeah and so pull outs are expensive too mm -hmm. so so you have to you have to see where your base is and then we can tell you okay here's about how much you're gonna be adding for each drawer that you want oh, okay. now you start building on this base product this base design that you like and you start building it. Now, one species of wood is gonna be different than another species of wood. You'll be looking at a door style on your cabinets and saying, is this more or less than the base? This mm -hmm. one's about the same range, this one's about the same range, this one's a little more, this one's quite a bit more, and this one's a lot more. Mm -hmm. And I'm, of course, we'll be sharing real numbers with you, uh, approximate budgets for your project. But that helps you to know where you wanna go. Uh, you need to know where you're starting before you know where you want to go. Mm -hmm. You know, before you, you start adding uh, a special stereo system in your car when you buy it new, you need to know what's your base price. Okay, what's that going to push my budget to? And that's what we feel we should do for you. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, a lot of products are going to be offered to you and showed to you, and we don't care what you choose, but what we have to do along with that product selection is tell you where it's leading you in your budget. Yes. And it's not always easy to do right <laughs> in the beginning. We need to get the base figured out. And now, unfortunately, sometimes the base numbers come out more than you want. But usually there's a big breakdown of how we got there. And so we can show you here are some things you can take out if you don't feel that's needed. These are what you said you had to have, mm -hmm. but it's still pushing you above your base numbers. Yes. So it's part of the process and that's what we do. We start we start telling people where it's leading them to and then we can work them backwards if we have to. We'd like to move them forward, but sometimes they just insist on seeing the numbers for everything. 
and sometimes they're disappointed because it's you know it's more than what they want but we told them you know you're going over budget or it's looking like it's a lot we try to be educational about that up front and mm -hmm. it helps it helps tremendously but we're the goal is to have no surprises so if you if you want good service that's how you do it if you want good service in your western wear for the rodeo or any time of the year western wear works all year long in san antonio yeah. go to billy's western wear greg white has a tremendous showroom there and his family they operate that store and they've got one in ernie and one in kerrville yeah and man is it packed with real western wear and you won't look like a coca-cola cowboy <laughs> you'll look like a real cowboy and uh and you can go any style you want but uh it, he's got it all there and i love it because it's it's good real real western wear and uh, i got compliments on my boot all the time so billyswesternwear.com 830-249-3843 249-3843 of course there's an area code of 830 and then billyswesternwear.com and we'll be right back to the km builders remodeling and design show welcome back to the km builders remodeling and design show and we are talking about the process and speaking of process and products options i wanted to mention that i'm getting a renai tankless water heater and i only recommend things that work well in fact i believe they're the best in the business and renai is definitely the best in the business when it comes to tankless water heater solutions we recommend them for our clients and they're at renai.us just look them up at www.renai.us not .com but .us and renai is spelled r I N N A I. <laughs> it looks like Renee I, <laughs> but it's Renee. R I N N A I dot U S. Trust me on that one. And so the process that we use, we we're at the point of where you're getting to look at the designs. After the designs are looked at by you as a client, and you've made your choices on what you like the most, then we go to a final design. And that final design is, is accompanied with a full broken out budget of that project. We want you to see why it's costing what it's costing, where it's costing what it's costing, and to see if you want to make any adjustments to that. But one thing that we can't do is, is give you brass for gold. Brass is this much and gold is that much. So you can choose which one you want, mm -hmm. but you can't make gold be the price of brass. And so we're going to show you those numbers. We're going to show you our cost, in fact, which uh, transparency is something that really builds trust. We show our cost, we show our profit and overhead margins, and then you choose what you would like. But that, that final presentation is based on a base budget. It's your base budget for your base project. This is the least expensive. We think you could probably have have all the things you've asked for. Now, if there's things you see after you've told us you've got to have them that you don't have to have because the price is more than you want or it's more than we were hoping it would be also, mm -hmm. we can take those out. But why does sometimes the price, why is it more than what we would hope it would be? Well, that's a good question. I'm glad you asked because sometimes the project is so unique and there's so many different parts of it. It starts to get difficult to know exactly where it's going to run. Okay. You know, no two projects are exactly alike, but a lot of projects are similar mm -hmm. in their in their scope of work. But when you start doing an addition here, a modification here, and a ceiling bump up here, um, add a second floor to this, or put a patio, convert that, they're all so unique. And to have all those prices really comfortable, we don't do a lot of projects that are exactly like yours when you have multiple pieces of it. Now, if you say a kitchen and bath and another bathroom, those are very common. But additions is where they start getting tricky because additions have to deal with outside situations. They have to deal with inside, internal, meeting up, stone, uh, heights, all this product and details. Right. So it gets difficult to put hard numbers on it. And sometimes, you know, we're just really aggressive and hoping we can get it for you. And then it's a little more, but we know that you're, gonna, you're not going to like it if it's more. So we have to show you ways of getting it back down. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that happens, you know, but we're, again, we're transparent. We're showing you why. We're showing you all the costs. Um, and if we get it way out of, of range and, and we've promised you it would be a certain range, then we'll make that up to you. But 
The main thing is, is that you get choices mm -hmm. and you see why things are costing. You may have asked for this and we might've thought it was $2,500, but it's actually 35. And we're going to show you that. And Sometimes it's not really you, a surprise either while you're going through those things. It shouldn't too. be if you're not, if you don't get your hopes up too high and you're willing, <laughs> and you're willing to wait and see what the actual numbers are. Yeah. Some people do, but but most people are seeing it's part of the process. Mm -hmm. And you know, and sometimes they're not sure what they want until they see the numbers, so then they decide they don't want it. And some things we literally have to go do the research on to give you a decent estimate of what that price is going to be. And when we go ahead and do the numbers on it, it's no longer an estimate of what it's gonna be, it's an exact quote. This is really what it's going to be. Now we may have thought it was gonna be this, but this is what it really is. Yeah. And we always want it to be less than what we said, but sometimes that's just not gonna happen, you know. So you have to you have choices to make as a consumer, but you need this information. You need to go through this process to be able to, to know exactly where it's gonna end up. Now the next step would be to go into picking the selections. So you've figured out how much your base project is going to, to be, and we show you the levels of all the products that are gonna be included in that price. Mm -hmm. Now you have a choice to pick other products. With, you have to pick products within that range that, that meet that budget and you've got lots of selections for tiles, countertops, cabinets, and so forth. But you can also choose to go above it if that works with your budget, and we're gonna show you what those would be. So that's the next step. And then the next step is, is to get into construction. We have a pre-construction meeting at your home where the, all the team that's gonna build it now is on there, is there, and they're gonna look at it, they're gonna take their plans of yours and then understand it completely. We have other meetings behind the scenes now mm -hmm. to make sure everybody understands it's completely. They have the right to ask for more detail, and they usually do. The and project then, managers. Yeah, and then we take that to a, the project managers take your project, they're your, you're their client, and they are your project manager, and they're going to go into our weekly production meeting and give you an update each week when it's coming up. Normally, that, that means about four weeks from the time you made your last selection. Mm -hmm. So when you decided that that last tile, now we can put that into the plans and it's about four weeks to get started. And they keep you updated every week and say, okay, it's gonna be looking at about this date and we'll fine tune it when we get a little closer, we'll give you the exact date and they make sure that you're ready to go and they're communicating with you regularly. So this is, this is the process and then of course, whenever it starts, you get a whole schedule, you can log into a client portal and see your entire schedule ahead of time. Now it's aggressive and so it'll move sometimes a few days at a time to adjust for weather or whatever might be happening. But it's very aggressive and you're gonna like seeing that and you're gonna get daily text messages before 7.30 every morning telling you exactly what's happening that day and what, what's going on. So mm -hmm. this is, and there's also photos downloaded every day on that client portal and all of your documents are there too. So this is where we're at, and this is the process. We feel it's the best one in the business, but we'd like your opinion by giving us a shot. Mm -hmm. And you can always sign up for our newsletter so you can see what our projects look like and read our blogs where we explain these processes. Or you can just follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We also put those there too. And what's a blog? Uh, our vlogs are our videos that we record of our projects every single week. A new one comes out and we record new videos every week. And you can find those on our website. Uh -huh. what website, section? Facebook, and YouTube. The videos section. The video <laughs> section. It's, it says video, right? Yep. yep. So look it up and follow us, please. And we have also weekly videos, social media at Tuesday at 2, I mean Monday at 2 o'clock, 2 p.m., and then also Wednesday at 7. Yes. And always you can go to kmbuilders.com to find out all the information about us. There's a lot there and a lot of beautiful projects. And then pages of testimonials, right? Yes. Yes, just from 2019 even. <laughs> so look us up at kmbuilders.com. And remember, we design the experience so you can experience the design.